Hey, this is Sean from RevZilla's Common Tread, and we are here today to test the 2015 Ducati Scrambler. Uh, the Ducati Scrambler is an all-new motorcycle for Ducati. It's built around an 803cc L-twin air-cooled engine. Uh, it was used actually in the previous Monster 796. It makes about 75 horsepower and 50 foot-pounds of torque. Overall, the bike weighs 410 pounds full of fuel. Um, it does come with ABS as standard, um, front and rear, though you can turn that off in the menus. Um, for those of you that want to do some trail riding or do some fire roads, um, you'll notice the tires are actually a Pirelli tire that was designed specially for this bike that uh, do pretty good both on and off the road. We're up here today in Idlewild, California, where uh, the launch is based from Palm Springs to ride this motorcycle. This morning we got to do a little bit of time on the, the freeway to see how it was around town, and now here we are uh, on the 74 um, through, through Idlewild. There's a ton of torque as you ride this bike. You can see kind of as I accelerate, um, first, second, third gear, I'll have a ton of low-end torque, really get you off the line easily. Um, we'll see if we see any wheelies running the other guys that pass me during this video. But uh, yeah, it's just a very, very fun motorcycle around town. Um, slower speeds, the lo lo those low gears really kind of encourage you to get up to speed quickly, if you will. All right, kids, I promise. I This is a very safe way to ride a motorcycle. Safety procedure we call the GoPro selfie stick. Hopefully you can see from these these shots kind of the, the the size of the bike. I know I was really curious when I first read about the bike, you know, how the size would be. The, the Triumph Scrambler was pretty big and heavy. This bike in some pictures looked looked really big also, and I was, I was worried it, it too would be heavy, and other pictures looked really small. Um, it's a little bigger than maybe the Honda 500s, but it's not a very big motorcycle, which makes it really a lot of fun. Um, surprisingly, though, it's still able to do well at high speeds. Earlier today, we did a brief stint on the freeway, and up in the 80s and 90s, um, I wasn't getting blown off the bike or feeling like I was holding on for dear life. Um, and that would kind of only, you know, be more improved with bars a little bit lower. You can see in this shot here, the bars are nice and wide. They're a little actually tall and swept back for my taste. Um, just given that I'm a little bit taller and I have really long arms, I feel a little on the cramp side as you look down here, you can kind of see um, kind of how, how far back those are pulled. But the leverage of the bars is fantastic. Handling. Uh, you can really kind of, you know, move around on the bike, get your butt off a little bit, um, and it, uh, you know, it makes it makes hanging off uh, r really fun. It makes going fast in the cans really fun, but it also means you have a ton of leverage when you're uh, kind of knifing through traffic. Uh, we had a few spots where we were kind of all weaving through, and just your ability because of the, the, the low weight, the low center of gravity, the narrow frame, and those bars, you can really uh, maneuver it at, at slow speed super easily, which is real friendly. Um, it actually has a 31 inch seat height. It's a pretty narrow seat in the front and it makes getting, putting a leg down really easy. We have a couple of people here on this launch of those that are pretty short um, and then there's a, a, a few of the women riders and all of them have said, you know, how easy it is and how light the bike feels between their legs but how easy it is to get a leg down. Um, Fit-wise, the bike was good. The reach of the pegs was, was good. Sometimes I felt like the pegs were a little on the low side. I felt like I was going to Hit, hit pegs or hit um, the exhaust while turning. Um, the seat is a decent shape, but somehow it just didn't, it, it, I didn't find it comfortable. I'd be curious to see how the seats are for the other models, but the seat on this Icon um, was a little hard, just kind of created hot spots or comfortable spots pretty quickly. Um, it wasn't terrible, it definitely doesn't push into the tank like some of the previous Ducatis have. After spending last week on a KTM that had the hardest seat ever, but was still just shaped so well it was comfortable. This, uh, this left me, you know, kind of hoping that one of the other seats might, might fit a little bit better. Suspension of this bike is actually really nice. It's only adjustable, the only thing that's adjustable is the preload in the rear, um, but somehow it just works. Um, I, it, it, it does a fine job, even on some of the bumpy roads we've been on, or it's, you know, handling through some of the turns, it does a good job. Um, one thing I am noticing is that the, I mean, it, which is very typical in Ducati fashion, or especially in the air-cooled ones I've heard, is that the the gear shift is actually, it kind of takes quite a quite a kick to get up and down in the gears, which isn't that big of an issue. I'm sure something that would kind of break in a little bit more as you rode it, but 
I did notice we did a little riding earlier while I was standing on a a, a little kind of fire road like like area and uh, shifting up between second and third really took a lot of effort, which which would make it difficult. But surprisingly, for you know a bike that's I mean really is meant for mostly on road use, it does it does fine on the fire roads. We were able to. Uh, slip and slide from the ABS off and have a good time. I've been really impressed throughout the day. Every situation we've, we've put it in, um, you know, they, Ducati have really tried to, um, it's almost, they've, they've gone to somewhat silly lengths to try and market this thing to people that maybe look just like me, but in the end, I, I, I think it's a great bike and I want one. And it's not just because of the way that it looks, but it does, it's, it's a beautiful motorcycle and they've created a, a great motorcycle that's fun to ride. Um, I definitely would take something like this over the Triumph Scrambler. It's it's much lighter, makes more power, um, and just works better. You know, having the having the Brembo brakes really help to you know make this thing a much a much safer motorcycle to be on um, and much more accessible, both for new riders and people that kind of want to go out and have a really fun time riding a, a fairly quick motorcycle. Um, overall, I'm extremely pleased with with what Ducati have come up with, and uh, yeah, I know we'll be getting a, a, a loaner in here soon, but. Um, you you might see you might see one in my garage in uh, the very near future because I, I I think they've just done a, an amazing job at kind of rebranding their their whole their whole look. All right, well if you have any more questions, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comment section of the article or come check out and read our full review at revzilla.com/commonthread. Thanks.